Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 51. That is, what is vulnerability testing? Let me answer. As part of security testing, we perform or test vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. So vulnerability assessment is one of the testing types that we perform as part of the security testing. It's also known as vulnerability testing. Yes? So let me explain what exactly is this vulnerability assessment and how it is part of the security testing at a high level. Okay. So first of all, what is security testing? As I already explained about security testing in the previous sessions of this interview questions series. Okay. So what exactly is security testing? Okay. Security testing is all about identifying the, okay, it's all about identifying the security loopholes. Okay. Security loopholes in the application. What will happen if an application is having a security loophole and if it is not identified by the software tester? Okay, if security testing is not performed in application and if it is not performed, security loopholes in the application will not be identified before the software is released into the market, right? Before the software got released into the market, if you have not identified the security loopholes, what is the root? What, is, what will happen? What is the consequence? Hackers. The problem is with the hackers, guys, okay? Hackers, what they will do? They will try to exploit this security loophole okay hackers will identify the security loophole and they will take advantage exploit means they will take advantage of this security loophole okay so to avoid that we generally perform security testing okay where we are going to identify the security loopholes in the application or software before the software get released into the market and we have to fix the security loophole before releasing the software into the market after identifying and the process of checking or identifying whether there are any security loopholes in the software before releasing the software into the market okay is known as security testing in simple words and this security testing can be performed as two types what is that vulnerability assessment as part of security testing we perform one thing is vulnerability assessment vulnerability assessment which is nothing but vulnerability testing simple words okay so generally people call that as vulnerability assessment we can also name it as vulnerability testing for now okay and on the other side as part of secure testing apart from vulnerability assessment we have to perform penetration testing okay we have to perform penetration testing so what is vulnerability assessment what is penetration testing i'm going to explain now okay so if i explain both this vulnerability assessment and penetration testing for you you'll understand the vulnerability assessment better so so here guys i'll take an example and explain vulnerability assessment so what i will do is i'll take an sample application uh, test uh, php dot wall web okay this is the application guys so i'll search for that i got this okay you see test php wall vulnerable web okay wall web so this is a website and uh, this website is open for uh, you know right uh, practice in the security testing guys uh, so uh, i'm going to give a disclaimer here saying that you know uh, you cannot perform okay you cannot perform security testing uh, randomly on any application that is available in the market okay you will be treated as a hacker guys and uh, it is illegal okay it's illegal to perform security testing on the random applications okay if you don't have permissions okay from the application owners you should not be performing the security testing randomly on any applications on the web so here this application is a sample application where you can perform security where you can practice security testing okay there's no problem in there are some pra practice websites where you can practice the security testing this is one of the website which comes into that uh, category where you can practice the security testing on this website fine okay you see they clearly mentioned you can use it to test other tools and uh, your manual hacking skills as well okay that means you can practice here okay they are okay they are, this application is open to practice security testing but you should not perform security testing on all random applications that's a that's a very important disclaimer guys i'm giving in as part of this session anyhow so here guys i will show you how to perform vulnerability assessment okay practically i will show you what uh, how to perform vulnerability assessment okay so here uh, after going to this application guys i will uh, go to this uh, category that is a browse artist or click on the artist here either click on artist or browse artist you go to this page I'll, I'll select the first artist okay there are three artists here displayed i'll go to the first artist click on the first artist artist one came here you see the url what came artist is equal to one came details about the artist one came so what i will do here this time is uh, here instead of providing one i will provide single code here okay here one is the input case okay whatever the one you selected is the input in the url so instead of giving artist is equal to one that is the first artist i am just giving single code so what is this single code guys single code is nothing but the payload we call the single code here as a 
it is nothing but a payload guys okay it's nothing but a payload okay so hackers will use this kind of payloads actually even security testers also have to use a payload with a good intention to identify the security loopholes in the application in advance so guys when i give one here that it will work fine it will give, get me the artist one details but if in place of the one if i give single code which is a payload that hackers may use okay if i press enter what's happening guys you are getting a warning message from where you are getting this warning message you are getting a warning message from the database if such kind of warning messages are coming from the database instead of from the application it doesn't look like a nor normal application message right okay it some kind of thing is going wrong in the database okay it says we can sense that when you give single code and press enter and if you are getting this kind of warning message saying from the database if you are getting like at line 62 you see at this php file okay something happened it is saying means that means there is a problem with the database okay this application is prone to sql injection okay this application is prone to what sql injection so you perform vulnerability assessment you didn't exploit the application okay you didn't take advantage of the application here by providing this uh, single code payload you identified that this application is prone to sql injection that's it you are not taking advantage of the problem you are only identifying the problem in the application that's what is vulnerability assessment but in case of penetration testing what will happen is here let's say i'll go to another application demo.testify.net i'll uh, go to sign in here i got to know that this particular login functionality of this application is prone to sql injection then after after uh, figuring it out what i am doing is i am entering another payload okay the next level payload this is the first level payload that i am using as part of vulnerability assessment just to detect whether the application is prone to sql injection or not whether i can do further testing penetration testing or not i am checking here that is vulnerability assessment and coming to the penetration testing guys i'll give another payload here so one of the payload i can give here is this kind of payload okay like this i can give single quote r like this okay this is a payload single quote r one is equal to one hyphen hyphen okay this kind of payload next level payload this is a very simple payload which will only detect any problems in the application as part of security loopholes are in the application it will detect but it will not take advantage this particular payload will not take an advantage of the consequence okay the action or uh, result so but in penetration testing as part of penetration testing we use an advanced kind of payload like this okay after identifying that the application is prone to this kind of uh, uh, injection sql injection and all then the next level payload we are going to give like a single quote r1 is equal to one iphone iphone like this payload will give here and will give some random password and click on login you see i'm taking advantage here okay in the first one as part of vulnerability assessment i didn't take any advantage of the payload okay so it was just detecting that there is a problem with the application as part of sql injection security loophole is available in the application it mentioned but in penetration testing by providing advanced payload i'm utilizing it you see i'm able to get the access of the admin user i'm penetrating into the application as a hacker i'm penetrating here okay penetrating as an hacker in vulnerable in vulnerability assessment only detection only identifying only identifying but we are not penetrating uh, as a hacker we are not penetrating we are only detecting but in penetration testing we are penetrating as a hacker right as a hacker we are penetrating into the we are taking advantage here taking advantage as a hacker okay what the hacker will do when he gets access to this application everything i'll do guys okay i'll transfer the funds and all those stuff okay and that is what is penetration testing okay so hope guys you got the understanding right what is vulnerability assessment vulnerability assessment is only about using simple payloads for detecting if there are any security loopholes in that application without taking advantage of the security loopholes whereas in penetration testing we'll behave like a hacker okay we will intentionally behave like a hacker and see the consequences like what if the hacker is able to do this what the hacker will do after uh, you know right penetrating into the application with this applic with this kind of uh, advanced payloads and all what the hacker can do okay what can be possible by the hacker all these things we'll explore here and do that as a simulate we'll simulate ourselves as a hacker on the application that is penetration testing so in real time do we have to perform vulnerability assessment or penetration testing it depends guys the answer is it depends okay it depends on the client if the client is if the client has given the permission for you to perform penetration testing then only you will perform penetration testing on the top of the vulnerability assessment otherwise you will only perform vulnerability assessment you will not perform penetration testing penetration testing requires additional okay 
additional permissions from the client okay so if if you got a project as part of security testing and the client is explicitly not mentioning whether you can do penetration testing or not generally we do vulnerability assessment first generally we have to do vulnerability assessment first and detect the security loopholes in the application then we have to take permission okay we have to ask the client guys okay we have to ask the client to give extra permissions extra permissions to perform penetration testing so as part of penetration testing the problems that will happen is uh, the database will go down okay database will go down and uh, the data inside the application may get corrupt okay if the client is maintaining sensitive information in the that particular database of the application that will be a problem right that's why extra permissions or extra okay extra permissions uh, we need to ask from the client before we perform penetration testing so that client will arrange you a replica of the application okay even though that application goes down doesn't matter for the client such kind of application the client has to provide then we can perform penetration testing so better to ask client for the extra permissions to and mention them in advance that we are going to do penetration testing which will take down your database and will correct the data in the database make sure we have the uh, backup of the database okay like that we have to say to the client just it's a it's a duty right it's a kind of responsibility to inform client that okay okay so so it's like something guys okay let me give one more example a real world example for vulnerability testing okay so here guys uh, let's say you are testing a car okay let's say you are testing a car and uh, you are testing a car, car and uh, you have so much of expertise that before before crashing it whether the airbags are opening or not you have to check okay or something like that for example you are testing okay car whether uh, airbags will open or not so for that you may do you may simulate in a simple way that uh, you, you know right without crashing this car with some object you can you can check that okay there may be some way so that is like identifying the problem here without actually taking advantage of that right but here on other case as part of penetration testing we are really crashing the car guys okay against a wall or something okay against a car, uh, wall or something we are actually crashing the car what will happen if you in, in case you are crashing the car what will happen the car will get damaged right car will get damaged and airbags may or may not open that doesn't uh, that's out of context for now but you see in this case we are simply detecting the problem and uh, uh, telling in advance that okay if uh, this car crashes okay then airbags are not will not open in this case okay the main mention but here you have to crash the car to explain that that's what is the difference between vulnerability assessment guys in vulnerability assessment we are simply detecting the problem security loophole in the application without taking advantage of that in penetration testing we are actually doing it we are simulating ourselves as a hackers and taking advantage using the advanced payloads and uh, uh, showing the client that okay what all hacker can do on your application okay that's what is penetration testing so hope guys you got the answer for uh, what is vulnerability testing now and how it is different from the penetration testing so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye